As a kid, light was always this thing that somehow lets us see everything around us. You ever wondered though, what actually is light? Well, let's imagine this space. Now space isn't really empty. It's filled with a kind of invisible sea we call the electromagnetic field. Any particle with a charge can disturb this field. So if I wiggle this charge around, it releases energy as waves, electromagnetic waves. That's how we usually define light. Now, picturing light as a wave explains many things we see light do. It can bend, reflect, and interfere with itself. But there are still some things that waves of light cannot explain. Take interference. We split a beam of light into two waves. In some places they add up, and others they cancel, giving us a pattern. So here, light acts like a wave. That's no surprise. But if we use a much dimmer light, we get dots? So light's made of particles. Well look, there's that same interference pattern which only waves can make. So which is it? Is light made of waves, particles, or even both? Well, neither. Hear me out. This picture of light isn't wrong. It's true. Light travels as wave-like ripples in the EM field. These stripes clearly show wave behavior. What the dots show is that light actually comes in packets, photons. When a photon travels, it spreads out just like a wave. But when the photon interacts with anything, all of that photon's energy gets delivered randomly at single points, like particles. In other words, the photon wears two masks. It travels like a wave and interacts like a particle. That's called the wave-particle duality. But behind the mask, the actual photon is something completely different, what's known as a quantum. Light is divided into tiny energy packets, or quanta, that exhibit this wave-particle duality. Now, since each photon, a quantum of light, has zero mass, it travels at the fastest speed possible. And because light has released by nearly everything in the cosmos, think like stars, nebulae, galaxies, that makes light the ideal messenger, allowing us humans to see things beyond their wildest imagination.